The FBI and ATF agents are inside the post office's giant South L.A. facility where a second package that may contain an explosive device was found addressed to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. That's our other top story tonight. And it's just one of several packages mailed to high-ranking Democrats and to CNN today. Some of those we know contained what appeared to be pipe bombs. Earlier, another package addressed to Waters was found in a mail facility in Maryland. Packages were also sent to the homes of former Presidents Clinton and Obama. What appeared to be a pipe bomb was sent to CNN headquarters in New York. Former DNC chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz's Florida address was on the return label of packages sent to Eric Holder as well as Vice President Joe Biden. In fact, the Biden package is still in the mail, according to CNN. We have team coverage tonight, including CBS2 political reporter Dave Bryan. But we begin with Randy Page. He's live at the post office in South L.A. Randy. Well, Pat, Jeff, we can thank postal workers here for recognizing that a package found in this facility addressed to Maxine Waters looked a whole lot like packages turning up on the East Coast that did have pipe bombs in them. Postal workers with rattled nerves drove out of this huge postal sorting facility tonight under the drone of news helicopters. Wanda Stance told us it's more than a little scary. A lot scary. Do you know that's our life? We don't know. We could have been blown at everybody over in here. Her workstation is at ground zero. It's a bomb threat. Maxine Waters headquarters, they get mail, um, she gets mail, or her, her mail comes from our station. The FBI confirms Congresswoman Maxine Waters received two suspicious packages. Law enforcement sources tell us one of the packages was found in D.C., the other here in South Los Angeles. The L.A. bomb squad suited up and brought in robots to inspect the package. The FBI says the two packages Congresswoman Waters received are similar to five others that contained pipe bombs. And many look like this. Notice the six forever stamps, computer printed address labels, and the return address listed as the office of former DNC chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Tonight, the LAPD says the bomb squad rendered the contents of the package harmless. Congressman Waters released a statement which says in part, I am appreciative of the law enforcement entities who intercepted the package and are investigating this matter. I unequivocally condemn any and all acts of violence and terror. So, was an explosive device found inside the package here? Well, we put that question first to the LAPD. Their answer, you need to ask the FBI. FBI is not making it clear one way or the other. Here's what we can tell you. We can tell you that according to the LAPD, whatever was in that package is no longer dangerous to anyone. Let's go back to you. All right, Randy, thank you for the update.